Well, start of a new year, 28th of February. Time to uh, start the task of digging. I never do it early. Um, just find the ground compacts afterwards and you feel like you need to do it again. Um, but tubers are away. I've took cuttings already, so I don't need what's left in the ground. Um, <laughs> let's back up and I don't think there'll be a lot of cop anyway. But time to dig it all. Um, and start for some new new old plans for next year or this year even that's one cover down um, I don't feel as young as I used to but that's enough just got to do the uh, bottom half of that cover and then the other plot so a good third done so Wednesday the 1st of March this is where I'm at most of the tubers have been on for um, some have been on about four weeks, others have been on six weeks. Um, those that I have myself went on first, others I've been waiting on uh, from various people, which I've got and most seem to be away. So, uh, varieties this year Aggie White, so we've already taken some cuttings off here, took the first 30 or 80 cuttings, sorry, um, on Monday. Um, Rycroft Jewel. Go at the twilight, these little pot tubers are decided they're going to wake up. Not much from the two field tubers, but I should get enough from them pot tubers. Um, that's Louis White, Skemstale Jane, just started to erupt, took a few cuttings off. Bright and softer gleams, poking out everywhere. Um, these are just pot tubers of the giant varieties that I had last year. Marish Jamanda, um, these little pot tubers have flown away, um, which is quite good because I wasn't sure um, at first. Um, Bryn Turfle, I lost one tuber, but it's not growing many of it, it's just a sort of go along. Um, I've got a couple of pot tubers of Casper, but um, not sure whether I shall grow that in the end. And Win Arm has finally moved away. And in the propagator, um, I've got the 80 cuttings that were taken and a couple of trays I'm trying to push on um, which is a uh, hallmark which seems to be away and the first couple of shoots it looks like on Oakwood Goldcrest which has taken forever to get going so I think we're going to be pretty much there. I think the Oakwood's going to be the the one I'll struggle to uh, get the numbers off. Um, but we shall see. So it's a change of tact again this year from just Giants to really it's an Alpha Griffiths. So the, everything is smalls, miniatures um, and a pom or two poms if I get enough. Um, a small ball in there and then the Giants, because I still want to grow some giants. I like doing sixes, um, and I might need three for a, a championship class. Will be mostly, I think, Aggie and Louie. Um, so it'll be three beds of giants without the Casper. Um, so it'll be about 80 um, plants of giants between those two stroke three um, varieties. And then I'll have to just use three of those if I need a, a giant or large or anything medium and above in the uh, section. So they're away. Um, the season started, so I sort of tend to go into hibernation um, and just get the tubers set up. But digging's done, cutting's t starting to take. Most of these pot tubers here, um, I did take a few of some of the uh, ones I haven't got many of, but I only intend to be taking cuttings to produce more pot tubers of the varieties, there's still about 21 varieties of giants there. Um, so mostly I'll just cut the first ones back, the next flush I'll take and just use those for pot tubers. But we're into March, so uh, in another six weeks and we'll be looking at be taking the main batch, so it's time to start building the numbers up. But certainly looking at, at these, there's plenty of um, shoots on there now, um, and I probably took a dozen off of that tray um, I think I took 15 out of this tray so 
there's a lot more to come once some of those eyes develop. We're away. See you soon. Night for March. Um, we had a bit of snow yesterday and it's sleet out there now, but it's quite warm in the greenhouse. I'm just going to nip in and uh, take a few cuttings. As you can see, there's plenty to take now. They're starting to get going, even the dying. Um, and then last week, so still in there, all fine and happy. And they're the ones I started taking now, so it just becomes a weekly job of just taking whatever's there and uh, keep them ticking along. That's that done. Um, a little under an hour. It's 120 cuttings taken from the uh, field tubers. I haven't touched the pot tubers because they're really only for stocks that don't need to. And I've brought out the ones that were in the propagator, the hallmark and the girdler. I actually managed to get about 15 girdler cuttings off of there. 30 um, Marys for the first go at them which was good um, and I've got one one oak wood tuber that has decided to start but still waiting on the other three so we just keep on going all the way through through to about the middle of April Wednesday the 22nd of March um, and a few things happening this last 10 days and so I haven't had much chance to get some cuttings off as you can see they uh, they need it, they're flying away on some and just about getting going on others, but there's plenty there. Um, the pot tubers, which is just the giant stock, I'll cut them back, but I'll take a few of those maybe. Um, and that's the first batch of cuttings that you saw me take in this, this video, that have now rooted and are just off, off heat on the side, just to settle in effectively. Um, I took the last batch, um, coming up for two weeks in there and they pretty much have have rooted um, so probably another uh, we'll see but at least a 120 to take I tend to do things in 40s because that's the size of the tray um, a little bit of a problem with the Winholm tubers by the looks of it we've got this sort of short foliage um, which effectively is the tuber collapsing as you can see that's pretty soft so I'm going to try and get all of these off um, and get them rooted because there's probably 20 cuttings there and then I'll top and tail them if I can um, and then at least if they do continue to go downhill um, I've got some to work with um, others are flying away like these Mirage Demander I think I had 25 off that last time and finally Oakwood um, I wasn't sure about that one, um, but I think the health is okay. Um, and these have finally now decided to wake up to follow on, so that will be useful. Brins, Louis, and the rest, that's bright and softer gleam at the back there. Um, and Skimsdale Jane here. So they've all gone um, pretty potty and time to cut back the forest. So that's that done. I think sort of cut back. Um, taken if it's a decent cutting, which chopped off if not. So I'm expecting the next um, flush of cuttings from these, and certainly on some varieties, to be about the right time um, for being plants that will eventually go out onto the ground, especially on the later ones like um, Aggie and Louie, um, that tend to be slow to get going and late to uh, flower. Others like some of the poms, you probably take those into because they're Hallmark and uh, Gertler, which are early flowering varieties. We take those well into sort of mid April and they'll be fine. Um, we took 160, we, I, took 160 cuttings today, which meant I had to move um, one of them from outside of there that had been taken about 10 days ago, so that's under the fleece. Um, but they were mostly quite thin cuttings, so they've, I think they've rooted. I'll just give them a couple of days under there, and they finish off on the on the bench. Um, so we've only got to wait another two weeks, really, before I take that lot out. But it normally does take, for me, it's more of a two-weekly cycle, 10 days to two weeks cycle of cuttings than it is 
weekly. Um, we should get there, we hope. Wednesday the 5th of April, finally uh, seeing some sunshine and a bit less rain. So I've come up and had another digging session. So we've managed to get the first plot dug um, in about three and a half hours and a bit one section on the second plot. So two more goes and I should uh, put the digging to bed by then, I hope. Um, that just get knocked about with a rake and uh, fertiliser added and planting. But um, good job to get done. Although my back doesn't agree with me at the moment. Um, you just got to keep keep doing it. I do like digging um, rather than motivating. I think it does prepare the ground better and deeper. Um, and it keeps the worms and things intact as much as possible. So uh, back to the greenhouse soon and uh, we'll be taking the main petrol coatings. But probably end this one at this point. See you next time.